Before we start, <clears throat> I would like to congratulate a dear friend of the podcast and one of the main men of M16, Declan Moody. Yep. He had one of the biggest achievements in his life yesterday, would you say? Yep. Uh, you can explain it a lot better than me. You have a lot more right to talk about it than me <laughs> as you practice the sport. I practice the sport, So yes. I'll take you over to Tom so he can tell you exactly what's going on. Well, so my, my coach and um, people who... Friend of podcasts, listeners of podcasts will know anyone tuning in that, you know, we talk fighting, we talk grappling, we talk local scene. Uh, my coach, Declan Moody, uh, went over to Singapore and did the uh, Abu Dhabi Combat Club, ADCC. It's the most prestigious no-gi grappling competition in the world. Uh, it's the Olympics of submission grappling. It's the... It's the the be- biggest. The best. The best show and the production value has gone up within the last five years especially. Mm-hmm. Uh, they do it, it's bi-yearly, so it's every two years. Um, so unlike the Olympics, but then you say we're between the Olympics and then we have the Commonwealth Games, you'd say you could go every two years, right, for people that, for Australia, New Zealand, that area. Uh, Declan had the, the, uh, the luck, you may say, that he's a dual citizen and so he could, he could do both Euro trials which he did before, and he went to B team and then did Euro trials, and I think he lost in the final. And what was this, Asian and Oceania? And this was Asia, Oceania. Yeah. And he didn't just get the gold medal. He ran, <laughs> ran through the competition. He put on a fucking clinic. Yeah. Those first three fights. Mate, the first three, yeah. The first two, oh. and then he had Hodge, Hodgkinson, who's another really good Aussie grappler who's been training out of B team as well. Um, and they've, they've trained a lot. They've done a lot of rounds. So I would have thought that Moody going into that. I mean, Hodgkins beat him, I think, in one of the last comps. Um, but, you know, they've done a shit ton of rounds together at this point as well. So they would know going into that, beat him. Um, so that was, he got, I think, got three submissions, yeah. Three subs and a decision. Yeah, and a decision in the final. Um, his first two, it was like two matches in two minutes because it was like 50 seconds and a minute 10. And the f- do you know what the wildest thing is? He is going to possibly roll fucking Gordon Ryan. Well, is, isn't he? Is Gordon doing under 90 or is he doing 99 or is he only do is he doing heavyweight? Isn't he doing two divisions? Is he trying to is he trying to do two divisions in a super fight? I was under the impression that he would be in the same sort of bracket as Gordon Ryan. I thought that was getting thrown around. Um, but imagine if he does. Oh man, just well, the, the, I I put a post on Instagram and it was just saying, and it's the the common parlance around the the Adelaide traps and the Australian scenes. It's like, I'm yeah, show it. show. I heard, man. As soon as you said, it's like if he wins, I'm going to Vegas, baby. To I don't even give a care if I only go for like two days. If I oh wait up, my camera froze. Oh, my camera has frozen. Oop. I will just pause that quickly. Pausing. Pausing. Dang. Sorry about that. I don't know how long that was frozen for. We were just talking off camera. Yeah, so right. record it. It does not matter how many days I go to Vegas. I'm definitely going to go to Vegas because yeah. <laughs> that, gr- to Vegas. Us, uh, that group of boys, whenever there's a trip, oh, we man. have a solid foundation of lads now. Look, who look, makes as as soon as you said that, my, my brother, and when I walked into the office this morning, goes, so are we, we going to try and go to Vegas? Are you going to go? I have to oh mate, I have to run that. There's there's a, there's a, there's some questions I have to ask. Um, but oh. I would I would love to, but I'd, then it'd have to be two holidays because I have to do one with the missus. If I said Vegas, she wouldn't come. Obviously, oh my god. So she'd be like, I'll leave that to you. But oh we we god. need a holiday then. So it's wild to think that it's it's in it's just such. And do you know what the shame is? It won't get any. Just like my episode last week with Troy Brosnan. We were talking about how motocross and mount, downhill mountain biking doesn't right. get any attention. Sport, certain sports don't get the uh, national recognition because they're not. Uh, they're, well, they're newer sports, right? It's it's not well, it's, the it's not the crickets. It's not the, not, not the AFLs. Yeah, it's, it's not just the, not, it's it's not the established. It's, it's not the established sports. It's but they're the niche. Well, around the world now. They're f- they're huge. But you're talking world world class, world yeah. caliber, top of the food chain, and that. That doesn't get recognised because it's, it. it's not one of the. We, we'll get pushed, you know, women's AFL and and you know the sports that we already play. It's like no, we'll now just show more of the women doing it instead of going, well, branching out. And I guess it's it is. It's just a niche, right? It's just a niche. It's a niche, but 
man, but he's he's at he's at top of the food chain. Yeah, like he, he deserves he's made it. some sort of fucking. But he doesn't matter because at the end of the day, his seminars just went up. That's what. Okay, so, <laughs> so that's the main thing. I had I had to explain this to my stepdad earlier. Like running through it, I was just like, so. For you to make money in jiu-jitsu, there's tears. There, there's there's a path to it, mm. and and it's almost like if you can get to the big show, and then you can have a few good performances. Lucky Giles did it here. Craig Jones did it. He had the Craig had, Jones has Craig, done it the best out of Craig, anyone had in jiu-jitsu Craig, history. And Craig Jones like built it up into so much more than actually, but he he made it work for him so much. Look, like, he made it one of the, essentially one of the best, right? He's, for him to be able to roll over what he did in jiu-jitsu and then make his name and then do B team and his social media. Best and, marketing in yeah, jiu jitsu. The, the best marketing in jiu jitsu. Oh absolutely. And one yeah. of the most talent obviously one of the most talented jiu jitsu practitioners yeah. in the world. He just also happens to be fucking hilarious. Hilarious. And the the, the, the self deprecation and the larrikin part of all that. But and the, to go and, in like one of the actual, actual best grapplers in and the world. By chance his arch nemesis is legitimately the best the best yeah. like well, it just yeah. it lined yeah. up so perfectly oh, for him such different personalities as well Gordon's yeah. just a fucking <laughs> dweeb I, I did a fucking we were talking about this Gordon with, with Declan and <laughs> I made a clip of um, I made a clip of I can't remember what it was I think it was me talking about how much Craig razzes up Gordon and yeah. it, and it's, oh, it's hilarious easy for, and it's easy and for it's him. hilarious it's easy for him. and I was yeah. saying how Gordon is, comes off as a bit of a wanker mm. and this bloke if you go suss it out on my YouTube comments this guy's like who the fuck are you losers to oh, talk yeah. about Gordon and I was like well fair enough with me but the person opposite me has he he kind of like can fucking comment on it yeah, a little yeah, bit because yeah, yeah, he's in that world now yeah yeah. Yeah, he's that, at that level as he, well. He's at that level. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what makes. <laughs> I swear to God, if 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 De- I swear to on everything I love, if Gordon and Declan of that are in the same bracket, mm-hmm. Gordon does do that, and Gordon and like if Declan right. beats him, I will get oh, Declan Moody's fucking initials tattooed under my ear. Yeah, well. <laughs> under, your, under your is cool. That's a yeah. cool spot, yeah. I was, oh, oh I was DM. Gonna, I was going to D- go DM for DM may could be for going yeah. DMs, Declan yeah. Moody, and it's good, a little subtle one under the yeah. ear. Yeah, that's cool. They can do that. I'm pretty sure Jonesy, didn't Jonesy convince some bloke in Thailand to get his name in a love heart on his wrist or that some shit? Not, that does not surprise that, me. I've seen, I'm pretty sure he shared a video. If the stars face. do align and I do end up going to Vegas, Adam Jones will have a fucking, uh, he will have a six meter perimeter around me that he's not allowed to enter. Dude, <laughs> dude see, that's why <laughs> I'm... You, going to Vegas with you boys would just be, yeah, I don't know. I've, uh, I said it. It would, it would, it would, it might be my, my to my detriment, you may I, I say, but talk- God, it'd be so much fun. I was talking to fucking someone about it and I was like, do you know what the scary thing is? They have like guns and stuff in America. One of us, could, actually, there is a possibility someone will get shot. Stay on the strip, all right? As long as you stay on the strip, you might talk shit to some people. There's bounces around. Now you go a little further out into the desert into some of those more weirder places. They, they might just take you out to the outback and bury you. I was thinking it's also it would also be a good opportunity to try and get some podcasts in while I was over there too. So it wouldn't be like, obviously it would be loose during ADCC in that, but mm. I was thinking more of like a business holiday almost. Not a business, mm. but it would be cool to link up. Is that because you're just looking at you want to claim it on tax or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you called me out. Oh, man. It's a business expense, you know? 